Hey guys, Bearded Brick bringing you guys another video. <sighs> that was a challenge for me to get through. Um, I have the Lepin Venator here fully built. And while it is really cool built, like I will say, every time I look at it, I get excited because I know we're getting from Lego in like a month. Um, but this thing I bought four years ago or three years ago as like a really cool idea for my channel. And I thought it'd be really cool to review a non-LEGO set at the time. Um, and as I've gone through and built mocks and other things from different creators, I've realized going through this build was very painful. Um, there's a lot of things that LEGO does for the community as far as like instructions and quality parts that really, a lot of people really don't appreciate. Um, for context, I'm not going to be doing, this is just going to be a one long video as far as it goes for this. Um, I will have shots of up close of the set as I'm talking about it, but it's going to be just a little bit of a me talking and then some B-roll. Um, so the big thing with this video is, or with the instructions is you, when it arrives, it comes in a black cardboard box and it comes with a manual like this. That's just no quality. It just kind of doesn't really show you much. And there are certain steps where you go through this book and it's putting on 20 pieces in a single step and you have to go through and make sure you've done all of them. I can only imagine how many pages it would have added if we did piece by piece. Um, now, uh, the one really, there are some redeeming qualities of the set being that once it's built and you never touch it, it looks great. And so, that, like I said, there are some redeeming qualities of the set where it's like, when it's built and you don't want to move it, it's much like the UCS Star Destroyer or the Falcon, where it's like, you touch it, it breaks. But if you don't touch it, uh, it doesn't do anything, you know? And that's one of the qualities that I sort of like about these UCS giant builds, is that once they're built, they don't go anywhere. And maybe I messed up with some of the, some of the parts of this build. And I know that there are people who, who offer alternative instructions, but this was my attempt at using the official Lepin uh, instructions with this set. Now, as far as it goes detail, you have Griebling on the side here that does look good. Um, the engines are the most intricate piece of this set, and I can see why LEGO opted for something more real, because there's alternative parts coming with the engines of the new set that don't currently exist or aren't released. While as these Lepin engines are completely brick built, they're like an eight sided Technic grid and it is the most frustrating thing. Multiple times with this build that I have to re put together the engines. Um, it, I actually didn't assemble the entire set until the very end of the build once I had everything pieced together. Um, it took me about 15 minutes to put everything together and get everything looking like you see it here. But I know the moment that I go to pick anything up, the bottom will fall out or the towers will fall out or this back piece of the engines will fall out. I assert, I, I almost certainly know that it will not make it to its final resting place if I keep this set at all in one piece. Um, so there's that. Differences between this set and the set that's coming out in about, about a month. Uh, this set is a sixth of the price at around 130 to 200 bucks at least when I bought it four years ago during COVID. And, you know, I bought this during COVID, I thought it'd be a really cool build, and then I just sat and sat and sat and sat and sat, and I just never did anything with it until now that I have my own place. Um, but, you know, there are some, some interesting design choices. Like here in the middle, there's a U piece that has nothing going for it. You, I've seen people make alternative builds that they make a piece that fits in there. I'm not gonna do that, I'm so, I just wanted to be done with this set because the constant things falling off and I'm going to put it back on, it's exhausting. Um, the only other thing that I may do differently to this set is a long nose here where it's red. I may try to use some of the remaining pieces that I have to cover this up and make it gray so I can make it more like an imperial, uh, an imperial version of this set so it can match my wall here and then maybe I'll get rid of my gunship and put this right there. But again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this set. Um, some more differences between this and what we're getting is the hangers don't actually fit in the aircraft. They just have a slight opening to them. I kind of wish they were flush and closed. Um, unfortunately, they didn't do that with this set. Um, what else is going on with this set? 
Um, there are this fig. This set does actually come with five figures I didn't get to and a plaque. Um, I just didn't put them together for this. The plaque does not say Venator. It says Assault Destroyer. It says some off name ship. And the figures are two Coruscant Guard Troopers. It's very similar to the Venator we got from Lego a decade ago. It comes with two Coruscant Guard Troopers, uh, two clone pilots, and Senator Palpatine in his red outfit. Um, obviously, none of those are real Lego figures, so I'm probably going to throw them away. Just so they don't get into my real collection and I lose them. Um, do I recommend this set for anyone who wants to save money and not get the Lego one? No. <laughs> No, I don't. Don't buy this if you are looking to cheapen out on the Lego one. I would say save your money and get the one that Lego is going to be releasing in about a month. Um, I will be doing a comparison both between that set and this one when it comes out, saying is it worth spending $600 or $100? But ultimately, I think that's about it I have for this set. Um, let me know, guys. Did you guys end up buying a knockoff Venator years ago? Did you guys make yours look better than mine? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments. As always, I've been Bearded Bricks, and I will see you guys in the next one.